Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm doing another update on the Frontera, Project Frontera, also known as Trevor. So um, yeah, here we go. This is the problem that I've been having and if you've been watching my previous videos you know that uh, this is the problem that I discovered. This is the tank guard for the fuel tank for the Frontera and as you can see not only is it rotten through there but it's rotten there as well and it's just totally separated and that was meaning that the tank was actually starting to drop so it's obviously a safety issue you don't want to be driving along when your fuel tank drops off so i needed to get a replacement now again if you've seen previous videos you'll know that these uh, frontera ones are very difficult to get in good condition because they all do the same i've actually seen a photo of one where it was solid all around the top but all the middle had completely gone literally the whole of that was one big massive hole and the only thing left was the outer ring and a little bit of the bottom and it was still holding the tank but uh, obviously the guy who showed me the photo had to replace it now as i say it seems to be the case that every single frontera one has rotted away so getting a hold of a second hand one is trying to find hen's teeth so this is the alternative now this is the tank guard from an isuzu trooper now the frontera is basically an isuzu so some of the parts are interchangeable now these apparently don't rot and they're much much easier to get hold of in really good condition and as you can see this one apart from being mucky it is really really dirty it needs a really good wash is actually in mint condition it's really really nice it's hardly got any surface rust on it or anything from what i can tell it just needs a good clean i will give it a good paint up afterwards but you'll be able to see the difference straight away and this is where a modification comes in so you'll see that end bracket there is very very similar to that bracket but the one at that side is very very different so the modification you have to do is cut off one of these old brackets off your Frontera tank, cut off that bracket off the Trooper tank and obviously do a little bit of welding. And talking to people on the Frontera group on Facebook, that is your best bet. And once you've done it, the Trooper tanks and the Trooper um, tank guard pretty much last forever. They're pretty much bomb proof. Whereas these Frontera ones just seem to be made from really crap steel that does that and apparently mine is actually in pretty good condition compared to most I mean it's started to go through at this side as well you can see the hole there where it started to go through and obviously that side's totally gone and um, now if if it wasn't for that bit having snapped it'd still be perfectly fine to do the job but obviously because that side there has snapped it's it's meant that the whole thing had started to drop because the only thing holding that side of the tank up was that thin bit of metal there. That's the only thing that was holding the tank up on that side of the car. So, uh, so yeah, so what you're going to see in the following videos is me having this all cleaned up, having the uh, bracket chopped off, the bracket chopped off there, and having that welded onto there, and then showing you what it looks like when it's all done now one thing i do need to do next before i go any further is i want to try the tank physically in that to make sure it does actually fit you know because even though i've been told it does to me it does look slightly narrower i have actually measured it and the difference is a fraction it's about a quarter of an inch narrower that that way there to there is only about a quarter of an inch different to that and I do remember when the tank was in the old one, there was a little bit of a gap all the way around the edge. So hopefully the tank will fit into that, no problem. Um, and obviously people are telling me to use this um, particular guard, so it must be all right. It's just that a bit of an optical illusion. When you look at the two from this angle, that does look quite a lot narrower from there to there compared to that one. So I'm going to um, get my mucky clothes on and I'm going to try the tank, make sure it does actually fit. And then... Uh, I'll take it from there. So thanks a lot for watching guys. Please subscribe, click the notification bell, please like and share my videos. Um, I do appreciate all the support 
uh, from people who are regularly coming back and watching my vids. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.